Hello and welcome to my channel, A Wonderful Sheep. It is a sunny Saturday here in Seoul, South Korea, and I am at Lotte Hotel for the Strawberry Buffet. As you know, Korea is going through a pretty big outbreak of coronavirus right now. And daily life goes on, but under a new normal of wearing masks and taking extra precautions like wearing these plastic gloves in public places. Another interesting result of this endemic is that people are ordering a lot more packages instead of going to the stores, which means a lot more cardboard boxes out for recycling. Which reminded me of an artist I met at the Seoul Art Book Fair last fall. This is a nice stroll down memory lane back before all of the outbreaks started and we didn't have to wear masks. This was my first time going to the Unlimited Soul Art Book Fair back in November and there were so many cool products to see. Everything that falls under the umbrella of art book you could find at this fair from magazines and prints, illustrations, graphic design, um, fine art. Again, a treasure trove of inspiration and sort of interesting to look back because right now there aren't any kind of gatherings like this where a lot of people are in a crowded place. And this is the artist I mentioned earlier whose work totally captivated me. It's what I like to call my heart's art, where as soon as you see it, your artistic and creative heart and soul are immediately drawn to it. The art book was called Ijake, and it's drawings and collages on cardboard boxes. And he rescues fruit and produce boxes from the grocery store and collages and draws on them to create these pieces. And it's just the perfect mix of upcycling and creativity and quirkiness that I loved. And I bought both of his art books. And it just goes to show you can, you know, make art from cardboard boxes. You don't have to get expensive canvases and it was really inspiring. After I discovered him, I've been, you know, on the lookout for any interesting boxes um, on the street put out for recycling, but nothing really inspired me. And now we return to present day, back to the new normal of wearing masks on the street. And I hadn't really found card a cardboard box that had inspired me to draw on it until I went to Monster Pizza the other day. Um, it's a pizza by the slice place in near Hongdae Station and I got a pizza to go and just the name Monster Pizza made me think, well, I'll draw a monster on the pizza. So I got out my poster paints, which are really inexpensive and they're pretty satisfying to use. You just add a little water and it goes on pretty opaque, not super opaque. I didn't fuss too much about mixing colors. I used the green straight out of the bottle and then just added a little bit of blue to the black for the inside of the monster's mouth. and it was just soothing and calming to paint without worrying too much about how I was going to make this uh, a final piece. It was just a simple monster shape, a little fun and a little way to relax. I think a lot of people are more on edge and there's a lot of uncertainty right now with coronavirus. And because we're going out less and meeting people less, I'm turning more to my indoor hobbies of uh, arts and crafts to bide my time. And this was just a calming, relaxing little fun piece to do. Here is the final result, my little monster. Kind of looks like a frog. Since I had my poster paints out, I used some of the other colors to 
do a little bit of junk journaling. This white background is actually receipts from recent stationery purchases that I pasted on um, notebook paper and then painted the little rainbow. And I used the extra poster paint that I had left over to add some patterns and textures to my painted papers. It was really fun making patterns and I look forward to doing painted paper collage again. So that was my craft project inspired by Tsukue Akimoto's drawings on cardboard boxes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay healthy and safe and well. Thank you for watching. Bye!